Hi, Scott here. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Now today I'd like to discuss with you meta stories. This is something I've come across recently in a book I'm reading. And I'll share more of that with you in a later video. But the point of meta stories is basically a way to get your, your subconscious and your conscious mind communicating. Now the reason is of course that our conscious mind's aware of all the things that are going on around us, all our feelings and emotions, but it's the subconscious or the unconscious that's actually directing things and really making us do things automatically and sort of running the show in the background, if you like. Now, the point of writing meta stories is it gets these two parts of the brain communicating, and that basically helps us a lot in producing our future and what happens to us. Uh, reaching the goals that we're looking for and where we want to be in the future. Now I'll give you a couple of examples here. The first one is, say you've had a bad experience in the past and if anything happens, anything is looking like that experience before right now, your unconscious or, sub or subconscious is going to be trying to tell you not to do it. Your automatic response will be, no don't do that because it, Last time I did that, it was a bad result and I didn't feel good, so don't do it. It's part of your ego trying to keep you safe. But of course, it's not a life-threatening thing, so as uh, entrepreneurs, people who want to improve our lifestyle, we have to do these things, right? We have to break outside the box and, and do things that make us feel uncomfortable sometimes. So what we do to, to um, make our unconscious support us, instead of trying to stop us doing these things, First we have to recognise what those, those thought patterns are. And then basically we go back to the story that we had, there was a bad story, and we change it to one that's a good story. And we don't change all the facts around the story, but we just miss out bits we don't like, and we add bits that we'd like to happen. So we have a story now which is something that has the same kind of a theme, if you like, to what we had before, but now it has a nice ending. So when we think about that in the future, that kind of scenario, we now have positive thoughts there from our unconscious. It will support us and, and bring us to that, to what we want to do and make us um, to achieve that goal by supporting the thoughts and the actions that we take. Now with a meta story, like the name suggests, we have to write it down. Writing it down is the best way for us to communicate between our, our conscious and, and unconscious. So we need to write it down, and we need to, the story needs to include all the feelings and emotions that really make it a fantastic story. So we bring it out and we exaggerate it, and everything is absolutely fantastic in our, in our story that we're writing. So we write it out a few times, and then we read it a few times, and basically program our unconscious to accept that as a, a new scenario, if you like, a new story that happened. That's the first example, is rewriting the past. Now the second one is writing our future. This is something you're probably more familiar with, like when you do um, meditation or something, you have these dreams, because we all dream big, don't we? So we have these dreams, and we write them down. We write them in lots of feeling, lots of emotion. We write them down lots of times and read them a few times. Um, and the more we read them, the more they write them down, the better the communication gets to our unconscious. So here again, we're writing a story for the future, and our unconscious will support us. It will give us all the right thoughts and the right motivation, and it'll make things go our way. So there are two really good ways of making our future brighter and helping us, helping us direct our unconscious to help us to make the, make the future just what we want and produce the outcomes that we're looking for. So meta stories, give me some thought and have a, a bit of practice. It's, not, it's one of the things that I've been putting off for quite a while, but now I'm back into this book again, I'm really enjoying it and it's, um, it's a very valuable exercise. And it's certainly one you want to consider if you're going to try and produce a, a future that is just what you want and get you outside the comfort zone, make you feel better about all the new things you're trying. So yes, yeah, so look into meta stories, dream big, write it down, read it yourself many times a day, and then take action. And that's how we get there. All right, take care. Scott and Build My Lifestyle. I'll speak to you soon. Hi, Scott here. We want to build this fantastic lifestyle for ourselves. So. What do we really need? We really want freedom, don't we? We want freedom. Freedom to not have to worry about things, freedom to just to live our life as we like and just be happy. Now, I believe you've got to start with financial freedom. Although money is not everything, of course, but it sure does help, yeah? So, 
I, I recommend financial freedom is the big start. If you get financial freedom, you will then be able to eat healthier food. You'll have a healthier lifestyle. You'll be able to buy the things you want to make you happy. You won't have to worry about things. Just that peace of mind is, is invaluable. So financial freedom is the way to go. Start there, build that first, and then the rest of it, I believe, will, will come along with it. Now, how do we get that financial freedom? Well, I believe it lies, and it's been, been shown by many, many individual studies, that the future is really in the internet. A lot of our jobs are disappearing overseas or being replaced by robots. So the internet is really the way to go. And I, I believe the best way for this, for myself certainly, is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is where you get paid a commission for selling somebody else's product. So affiliate marketing and you really want, you want high-end commissions as well, because high-end commissions uh, make the big difference. It's no good se selling little Amazon products, making a few dollars here, a few dollars there. You need really high volume, that's really hard. You need called high ticket or high-end commissions, $1,000 plus per transaction. And that really helps you build a sustainable, sustainable business. So what you need is you need all the online tools available to build your business. And you need lots of training as well because I myself had no, no experience in this field and I had to learn a hell of a lot. And all the training here is available. Over 6,000 plus online courses to help you reach where you want to go. Learn about the tools, learn about marketing. All those things you need to build your business. And coaching as well is very important. If you want to, if you want to speak to people who have been there before or on the same journey as you at least, and they have lots of experience to, to pass your way, to make your life much easier, save going down, making the same mistakes that they may have made. There's meant so a, a community is also very important. So people who are like-minded, going on the same journey as us, you can reach out to them and they'll help you out. They'll give you as much help as you need. They're a very, very helpful community. So if you want to get started straight away, click on the link below. Down here in the comment box, you'll find a link It'll take you through to the sign up page. Give it a go. It's risk free. It's a 30 day money back guarantee. And, and just give it a try and see what you think. You see the community, the tools, the training, everything's available for you. And you can build a sustainable business that you're looking for. Any questions, please drop me an email. Scott at buildmylifestyle.com. You'll find a link down there also. And I'll be speaking to you soon.